now that I'm wearing my phone is acting up. Phone overheated, causes the phone to, to shut off the camera. So I put the air conditioning at full blast. Now I'm, I'm freezing in the car right here. Oh, well, I'm gonna put on max AC. I don't know if use max AC. I mean, I need to run the compressor at full blast. And, So now I cooled the phone down. I actually had to take off its protective case to cool it down. I don't know. It overheated for some reason. <laughs> That's all we need. Alright. Um, it's at 95% charge. Charge are pretty quick. Uh, this has a... This, this controller has a... You want it to control with a temperature gauge so you know how it's operating because at a certain temperature it will shut off. Because in here it gets pretty hot. Since I put these on, it do help. Okay, so you see what's going on here. Okay, let me show you. So the amplitude is what we care about here. So it's 1.8 amp. Okay, there you go. You guys see it's nice and clear there. Whoops. There you go. Now this is without the battery on. And then I can turn off all of this. It's off. So now it's just a solar panel charging back to the uh, the battery. Now I'm going to turn this back on. Now we're going to start charging up the gold power. So now this is going to charge. See? It's charging with the cable. It's hooked up to the DC DC 12 volt. And I don't, it can take DC 15 volt. So an 18 volt panel. 18 volt. Well, this is it. This is pushing out 18 volts, but those ports are pushing out DC 12, so we can get full. But I'll be getting a I'll be getting a panel for this. So because originally I got this for the the vehicle and whatever accessories I have. But like I said, you know, you're gonna go camping and you, or you're gonna go on a trip. And you know you're gonna want you know and you, you know you're gonna want things on and you want to enjoy and you have a look you can have a, a cooler or a refrigerator you're gonna want to have you know want to heat up your food you know you know all these things you want to bring with you you know you may want to well if I'm in my vehicle I'm gonna have my you know my air conditioning on I'm not gonna <laughs> have just a fan blowing you know, don't need to go through all of that but I mean that's the whole thing. But that's it. Yep. Let me see how far we get with the battery charging here. Let me turn this off. I'll unplug this. I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, we're up to two cells. See, this is a slow process. That's why you have to get the right equipment. And I need to go back into um But this can this this does uh, work. I was just wondering if this could work, and it, it it can work. I was in the air conditioning on. I'm not doing this to charge this thing, because the panel is what's charging this thing. But anyway, so that was just it. Oh, thanks for watching the video. Actually, I moved the vehicle more in the sun. Because we're not getting the whole panel light up. I, mean, I don't have to drive it around. Uh, let's see if I let me see what happens if I do that. Let me drive. I got I got one of those circular driveways. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, full sun. There it goes. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Full sun. Yep. Oh wow, full sun. Oh, you see that thing climb up. Did a live broadcast while driving and holding the camera at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, right now, full sun. Right now is full sun on the solar panel. 13.9. Oh. Oh, wow. What happened here? Something that some wire must have got loose. Off. On. Plug in. Oh, this is not working. Oh, 
the wire must have got lost. Loose. Hey, I'm gonna put you on pause for a second. Oops. I don't know why I did that. It, it turned off. I'll have to spice these videos together. But, like I was saying, right now we have 13.7 volts coming from the uh, engine. It's partly cloudy today, so it's gonna fall back. I had the engine running. We have a uh, 2.2 amperage coming out of the um, the system, going into the Go Power Plus. So I'm just testing out my little theory here. I don't want to use 10 gauge wire because I this is too, I I can't sit here and hold this while this thing charges. I would have another one running in the car, vehicle at the same time. I'm gonna have to have its own solar. Um, Solar system, solar uh, power system to charge it. Uh, of course, I can charge it with this, and then have an, yeah, and then have another one, um, a larger one, to charge up the others. I have to experiment. It's a lot of experimenting because I don't know. I don't see many people doing what I'm doing. I originally got this solar panel for this vehicle because I was having trouble. The vehicle wasn't starting, and I know. Uh, they say, well, the, the starter is going to go, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I was just getting low amperage. The other device I had was going crazy because everything was plugged into. Um, so many cables. Everything was plugged into this little sucker. <laughs> Type C in the middle. And you got 24 amp fuse, which comes with it. Is right here. So, but the, um, the, this gives a reading out here of how much amperage, and this was going off the hook one day. So I said, "Let me." I decided, let, "Let me get something." Oh my goodness! Let me turn off the speaker. Oh, I can't turn off the speaker. So. See, I don't know how long it's going to take to charge like this. And that's why I'm saying you get a larger panel and a um, thicker cable. The Harbor Freight, that's, um, that cable is what the panel comes with. Um, of course, you can change it out and get, you know, a thicker panel, a thicker cable. I mean, I can make my own. It's not that hard. I'm going to have to get the solder gun out and get fancy. But, you know, this solar, uh, ge solar um, generator, it, it's not bad, though. And I know some people recommend running your fans and all these other things. Yeah. But I got to get it. Um, I don't want to use no house current to keep charging it up. So, and I don't want to keep on coming to my vehicle and use the solar panel to, to charge it up. I, I mean, it'll, it'll charge it. Let me see. Let me turn it off. Right now, there's some sun. Actually, let me see if I can move the vehicle into the sun. Hold on. I'll go right on the grass. I don't care. I see somebody left AT&T wire out. Okay, so I am going into the sun. Full sunlight. There we go. <laughs> Just to get a full charge there. Yeah, so it, it jumped up. So I got 13.9. So 13.9, 14. You know, that's good enough. This is all automatic. I don't really have to send anything. You know, it automatically picked up the solar panel and, it, and, and everything. So, I don't really that. so, wow, this is going crazy here. It says 13.2 amperage, so 13.7. Let me see if I turn off the engine. This should run. The solar panel should kick in 13.4 amps. Okay, so, and 46 Celsius. And here it's going to get hot. Okay, we went down to 12.9 volts. And this sucker is still charging away. The battery says 73 amperage. There you go. If the cable's a little thicker, it'd be better. Yeah. So it, it settled at uh, 2.2. Maybe you can see that. Oh, it's kind of hard. I don't have anything to block it. This the sun is in this part. I have a shade here. 
Oh yeah, I, I got one of these things too. <laughs> I know some states that they don't want you to drive it on, but man, it hot uh, where I am. The sun can come right through. I have the window tinted, but I bought my vehicle in a state where the tint they wouldn't give me. Um, it's a five. Let's see. I think it's um my the tint the original tint that comes with the factory. I think it's five, and they put a th uh, level three tint. I can get it now, but. I got this, so this is this is magnetic clip, and it, it works great. And you can see, see it there. You can still see through. I mean, I, I can't see what you can't see out. <laughs> All right, so I put that there a little bit. That should help. Yeah, that helps block the sun. Okay. All right, you can see it now. See now, yeah, it went to nineteen amp, twelve amp. Okay. And if I turn that off, that turns this whole thing off. See, it's off and it's off on the go power. Now, if I turn it back on, the go power comes back on again and my phone is charging. Oh, let me take off my phone charging. Okay. And this let the go power charge with the, um, the device. Okay, it's, it's going 1 1.5, 1.2, 1.5 amps. That's with this little homemade um, cabling system. All right, I got to the air conditioning back on. Oof. So you got the alternator, and you got the solar. <sighs> okay, I found out what's wrong. As you know, cheap wire, cheap connection. That's why. Now it's charging again. All right. I know what to do now. Full, full charge. Oh, panel's running at full charge. Okay. This is a, a PSM. I don't have the MPPT. Uh, MPPT would actually, you know, well, that's that would give you a better. Amperage. Well, I'm gonna swap this out for something a little better. But right now, this is all right. But see, if I swap it out, I'm gonna lose features. I'm gonna lose uh, hooking up USBs. I'm gonna lose the feature of turning it off. I have to find one that is identical. There is one that has a built in fan, two battery features. So you would have the main battery for the starter, the, the trickle charge, the, uh, the starting battery, and then you would have a, an optional solar battery. Yeah, 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 they have that. That's not too bad, too expensive. That's pretty big though. So that would, you would have to use an MT50 module with that to, um, you'd have to use an MT50 module of that to um, see it because it won't be on the device. It's gonna, it's gonna, you know, well, which I could, I could mount that underneath the dash or, and have the MT, uh, where the, this display is, have the MT, uh, MT50 right there. That's another additional. So we're looking at $63 for the unit. That's almost a 30 amp, um, controller, MPPT. And another $31 to get the display unit. <laughs> It gets kind of expensive, but if I got if if I got everything from Amazon, it'd be more expensive. Now, if I go third party, you know, from a, some a vendor in the United States in California, I can get the controller MPT two controller for like sixty three bucks, and then I have to go on Amazon to get the the display. <laughs> For you know, thirty one dollars. I mean, the price is weird. Same item. They're just selling different vendors selling at different prices. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, thanks for uh, watching the video. And you know, the next video I'll show you what I got for charging. But that's what I'm gonna end up doing, though. Okay. Because, I mean, it defeats the purpose of using electrical to charge these devices with the right devices here. So it's charging slowly. <laughs> That's why you should be able to go 
from the panel directly into this and bypass all of this, which I can't. I just don't have the cables right now. I'd have to disconnect this and then this leave this in this charge. And I'm sure it'll work. And I can test it out with the multi-tester and I can see exactly how much amperage is going in and out. That's another. I might do that test. I just don't have the cables right now to do it. But this is just something. And then I would bypass controller altogether. And it should charge up faster that way using the same 10 gauge wire and the MC4 connectors. So you would still have this and then you have MC4 connector plugged into it together. And that's how that would work. Okay, anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, let me just drive back into my driveway right here. But I was amazed, boy. I jumped in here. It's in the morning. If it's cold, you know, I have to wait for the engine to kick and the solar to kick in and and <laughs> and charge up the, and get me started. But um, like like a while ago, I just I turn on the engine. Turn over one, two, three. It's fully charged. Oopsie. Now you see it? this thing stopped. Bad. This thing's this thing's bad. Right, bad. Already. It went bad already. This this cable is bad. Oh well. It happened. Oop, there it goes again. <laughs> okay. But you guys get an idea. It, it, it can work this way, but it's it's going to be a slow process. And got, and this and this is a 55 watt uh, panel. Could you imagine a 13 watt panel? A 55 watt panel would be. Let's see. I know that my 20 watt panel was 10 watts, and then 30 would be 30 watt panels, like around. 15, 17, it depends on what it is. I mean, 40 would be like more in the 20s, and 50 would be like, like in a, between 40 and 30. It depends, you know, it's kind of hard to tell without using a tester. I'm just, you know, kind of figuring it out. Really. I'm not used to with people without their mask on. <laughs> I still wear mine. Okay. <laughs> You take care, guys, and thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more coming up late, coming up, coming up soon. I don't know when, but <laughs> this one again. Oh, this thing keeps on turning off again. Good Lord. All right, take care.